This conference so, will now be recorded. Okay, let's start into the meeting. I am sharing my screen. Just let me know if you can see it. Yeah, I can see now. Uh, it's just on, it's gone. Yeah. Is it okay now? Yeah, I can see. Yeah. So last time where we stopped was like uh, with the creation of single articles. So I to, I asked you to create few more articles and practice. So how did it go? It was good. I mean, after I saw the video again, it was easy. I created and listed all of them, checked all the tables also. Oh, perfect. So I could see that there are few articles. Good. I mean, I, I have a grasp on that now. Okay, perfect. So now we will see about generic articles and structured articles. Okay. Okay, so we had decided to keep these three, these three into these four into generic, generic articles. Correct. So let's check. So prerequisite for generic articles is you should have those merchandise categories along with characteristic. Correct. So how mm -hmm. do we? That you go into this characteristic and see if the characteristic is assigned and along with that it should have the relevance indicator as to relevance for creating generic articles let's see if that is having any characteristic profile yes it has it okay similarly let's check the other one what is the other one shirts This is mandatory. So if you look at this color, it was an inherited characteristic. So because it was assigned in a higher levels and that has been inherited. So that is why this flag is flagged. Okay. So it says that inherited characteristic. Okay. Just a single one. So let's assign this, okay? Similarly, for this. So let's check the characteristic profile as well once. Okay. So all the characteristics are uh, all the merchandise categories are now assigned with the uh, characteristics. So that uh, is uh, clear now. 
<laughs> so what we need to do is now the next step is we have to ensure that all the merchandise categories have the merchandise category reference article right so let's create that as well so wg22 oh shit saris go to merchandise category reference article create article what is the article type that we created z by krt now you are uh, we linked to some article type right what is what was that no there's no by krt the second last one ah, right sorry let's get this Saris, correct. Okay. Each that's data related to one. So, what are the other things that we need to maintain? If you have, just guide me. Let's check that. How did it work? Oh, top one we have to put that european the barcode thing no no for merchandise category articles we know oh, right? the reference article right 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 only for real articles we would need hmm. yeah replenishment automatic po Create. and the uh, storage location clearly we have to add our dc yeah but we need to give our dc right our yes. say, uh, what is that it's said our dc since time now Now it is stopped so we will yeah install we allow why zr is this right our mm. uh, store is okay save it this is 22 Anything I left, I gave everything right. Oh, we missed the purchasing group. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, I understand that. Okay. We can get it. That's fine. Because we have so many fields, right? We It's very common that we miss it. Mm. That is the reason SAP gives you this flexibility of maintaining everything.
Z K Z. So why I am actually insisting of creating every articles one by one for merchandise category is like so that it will become a practice in going forward because that is the proper way of doing it. So you will never have any uh, issues while you go and create uh, in real uh, implementations or anything. Now, now we will go and create the real articles. Okay, the generic article. So first is we will create for trousers. Okay, mm -hmm. generic article should be the article category. Now you click on basic data and press enter. This pop up comes. So the reason why we didn't select for generic articles, this is like we don't need the real variants and all, right? So it's all reference article. It's just we maintain the reference data. So right. for that it doesn't require everything. So but here is where in the when you create real articles, you need to actually classify at what level you want to create, right? What color mm -hmm. and size combination you want to create a particular real variant article. So now if you see this Krunal is the size, I mean characteristic profile. Under this characteristic profile, I have color and size, correct? So I select this Krunal, I press enter. Now it gives me what are the color and size. Uh -huh. It gives me two things because we selected color as well, right? So it draws color and size from characteristic profile and everything. So let's select this. So in this size, if you select what are the sizes you wanted to create articles, and similarly, colors. Let's do one thing. In this, we will remove this color. Color is what we have given already, right? Mm, yeah. Arch. We created two colors, right? We created color and colors, correct? Yes. Because new characteristic value storage also we used, right? Mm. We created with two different methods now. Correct. I wanted to show that difference, so let me ensure that. So this is also color. Other than color trousers, shirts. Okay, what we will do for this? We also had this colors, right? Which is an inherited characteristic. This cannot be deleted. I'll show you the difference in some way. First is shirts, right? Trousers.
Now only you get two colors, see, because in characteristic profile also we had, right? So that's why I'm selecting all the color combination. Oh, characteristic value grouping is not released. So this must be in released status. And if you go to value, so this is what we have used to the new value storage. So this must be in WRFCH color, correct? This is done. It is characteristics. Everywhere it is released. Why it is saying it's not released? Characteristic value grouping is not released for this material group. Greater than we denied the fact that ah see now you get it. You understand what the issue is? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll show you. W R F C. Okay. Let's go to W ten D. See this. Oh shit. W ten D. Under logistic retailing. Master data. Retailing data. See this. We have serial. No, we don't have trouser. Trousers and all. Material group restrictions. We have not allowed. What we need to do is go to change mode. We have to I 
ideally the mistake what we did was material group restriction means it will i think it will allow us to create what is this trousers right mm. that is that shit trousers let's copy this okay now save this okay now let's go to slash and then 41 basic data select from all okay now you got it mm. now you get the code this thing so we did we did the ulta we thought that restriction means whatever merchandise category we will do that will not be allowed but one whatever merchandise category that you give only will be allowed for this hmm. it's the other way around right okay so, now when you select the merchandise category group i mean a color if you remember whatever groups we characteristics we grouped that has been displayed suppose if you use the old method the direct values will be displayed just mm. in case you have so much of values like 1000 200 300 400 if you have to it, everything will be displayed in this pop up window and that will give a performance impact so just in case if you had grouped it you will just select okay this in this autumn whatever only uh, for that season what specific colors will be displayed that you can select among them so if you want to select multiple either you can select autumn completely so all the colors will be displayed or if you want to select randomly you can select them and click on control and select randomly correct so let okay. me say that for autumn i will select all the colors okay now it allowed everything now what i need to do i have to go back okay the moment i go back it will form a matrix so whatever sizes you selected and whatever colors you selected it will form a matrix now you need to select on what combinations you are going to create a variant mm -hmm. you're with me now yeah okay now i'm going to select create red excess purple small black medium brown large and black excel so i'm going to create five different variants under this 10027 generic article clear mm -hmm. now again i click back okay now if you go and click on the variants you will see all the variants that you selected along with the variant number. So this is the generic article that you display here, followed by the variant number 001, 002, 003, 004, 005. Okay. okay. So this entire number is a unique variant ID. And this is the generic article ID. Clear? Yeah. Now let's come and we will have to create a barcode. Correct. So for barcode, this is generic article. Now we want to create barcode for each variant only. So for that, what we need to do, you have to give the alternative unit of measure, whatever in category you wanted to. So I will create internal EANs. Now click on variant EANs, press enter. You will have the GTINs displayed here. Clear? Okay. Individual barcode numbers for each variant. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is how the variants are created. So now we have created, say, for instance, Levi's denim trousers. Okay. Now we have created, so all the generic, art, I mean, data has been flown, correct? Mm -hmm. All the reference data has flown. And now for generic article, there are two different, two other extra fields that you need to be very much aware of. What is this pricing profile and this pricing reference article? So, what does this are how they are actually uh, uh, more uh, relevant or more important is pricing profile will determine how the prices has to be determined for each variant and a generic article in what relation they should be. Say, for instance, you wanted to price all the variants on a same price, right? So what you, you have options, you can simply create the price at the generic level and copy all the generic prices to be uh, common for all the variants, right? Or okay. if you want to price the variants differently, you, you have to have a different sales price for each variant, right? So there are two okay. options. So that is what this pricing profile will control. If you select nothing, 
variants can be priced differently. If you don't price anything for that variant, automatically the price of the generic article will flow. Okay. That is for one, sorry. For zero, if you don't maintain anything, variants will have to be priced differently and generic article price will not be proposed. So that all the time you will have to maintain the sales price at the variant level. That would be a mandatory one. And if the option one is there, if you maintain it uh, at the variant level, that will be taken as more priority. If you don't maintain, automatically the variance uh, price, uh, the generic article price will be proposed. And if you if you select option two, you just need to maintain the prices at the generic article. That is more than enough. All the variants will adopt that purchase that the adopt that sales price. Clear? Yeah. Adopt yeah. the sales price of the generic article. That is the three options. Okay. So normally, okay, uh, in uh, profile one, it says. Uh, if we don't have for variant, it will propose the generic one. So in that case, we have a choice to go with the generic one or we manually key in or it will propose and directly take take the generic one. I mean, how, how, how does it work? No, the, uh, how does it work is like, uh, see, if you maintain prices of both generic article and variant level, okay? Hmm. So now here you have five variants and one generic article. So you have maintained for four article, four variants. You did not maintain for one of the variant, but you maintain for generic article. So what, how the system will work is like for all the four variants where you maintain the sales price, the sales price maintained for those variants will be picked. But for the one variant where you did not maintain, system will see what is the pricing profile. It says, okay, it says, okay, uh, one. What does that mean? If variance price, take that. If not, take the reference from the generic article. So for that variant, it will pick the sales price from the generic article. So you have both the options, a backup strategy. Okay, so it will directly pick. I mean, it will not give a choice that this is generic, whether you choose to go with it or not. It will directly say option. this is the price. It will pick directly. First priority is at the variant level. Second priority is uh, at the generic level. So if variant has a price, it will directly first pick only that. It will not go to the okay. generic or it will not give you a proposed option at so. Okay. Okay. That is one. So pricing reference article is something like if you want to explicitly reference a price from a, a different article, you can give that here. So this is applicable for generic, I mean single articles as well. But in case of generic article, for all the variants, by default, pricing reference would be the uh, for all variants, the pricing reference by default would be the generic article. Okay, I'll show you. Okay. So if you go to the validity area. Now let's maintain the generic article fully and I will show you. Okay. So these two options are very key ones. Okay. Yeah. Clear? Rest everything has flown from the uh, reference article itself. So logistic DC, everything has flown. Okay. Now I will save it. So one zero zero two seven. Okay. okay. Now I will show you. Mount 43, it is 27, right? Okay. Now you click on the generic article. Okay, the generic article has displayed, correct? Mm -hmm. Now, if you go to the variant, if you want to go to the variant, you can click on validity area and click on F4, all the variant numbers will be displayed. Now you select, see, if you look at the pricing reference article, it is blank. But for 27001, if you select, automatically the pricing reference article would be the generic article clear yeah okay so now, yeah now even in the back end of system 
if you select Mara, this is one of the generic article, correct? Similarly, if you select everything, you will get oh, what is happening. So you select these are all variants, right? And these are all, this is the generic article. So the difference at the back end, how you can identify what is variant, what is the reference article is, with the type of article category, you can you can differentiate. I'll show you that. Why am I? Control F is not working. Okay, this is article category. Okay. MTAFT. Control F. I'm just. Um, very important fields alone I'm showing you, right? Because more relevant for you. Now, if you look at that, this is the article ID when it is created, and what is the material type we have created, and what article category. This is a generic article, correct? So it belongs to the article category of type 0, 01. Whereas all the variants will have 0, 02, which is variant. Clear? Mm -hmm. And this is the description. So it is a combination of color and size, red excess. Purple, small, black, medium, black, sexual, brown, large. Clear? Okay. And if you look at this field, conference article, this is nothing but the SATNR field. What does it mean? Is like it gives you the relation between the generic article and the variant. So if you look at it for essay, this generic article doesn't have, but for this variant, this is the generic article that it is linked to. Okay, kind of parent child relationship. Exactly. Okay. This is where in the back end, technically, the field is related. I mean, uh, the uh, generic article and the variants are related. Okay. okay. So shall we list this and see how it works? Shall we directly list it? So go to WSP4. Okay. Now, what assortment is this? Runal, right? Hmm. And this is B1. Okay. Now I list it. What happens the moment I, if you look at it, one day I'm listing the generic article. So mm -hmm. the default or by standard, when you list a generic article, all its variants also will get listed in that assortment. Okay. Suppose in case you want to list only few variants, you have to give the variant ID directly and list it. Okay. Okay. Now you come back. AC 16 N. WLK1 Kronal, right? Assortment is Kronal. Now you execute. So everything got displayed. Okay. Yeah. So along with the general yeah, category. Yeah. And now the best important part is into the Marcy, if you go. You select generic articles will have Marcy entry only at the reference site level. Only variants will have the Marcy entry at the real site level. Okay. If you look at this, 27 has only entry at the reference uh, site level. Whereas only these articles will have at the real site level. Clear? Yeah. Okay, because the stocks are maintained only in that level, right? At the variant level. So that is the reason. So you have, not, you have to be very careful on this. So these are very nuances that you should be very much aware of. It. So that is why I'm taking time and explaining you the technical details as well behind. Okay. 
okay zr dc zr ss zr st zr zst1 and zdc1 okay so all the real sites we have it okay and similarly if you go to mvke mvke you will have a way into okay similarly article i will give what is that okay all the sales organizations will be displayed and here also if you see pricing reference article is coming from the generic article level this is okay. controlled based on the pricing profile okay suppose if you give all variance priceable differently this pricing reference article will not come okay okay and key is also done what is the other table that we need to check cwlk2 wlk1 already we checked so that's fine clear yeah i think mardi is left now mardi is okay but as a result of listing that will not happen right okay so that is why i didn't show you but anyways i can show you no the next to need to understand the differences in tables yeah always uh, the moment you do any activity just check the back end source table so that it gives you more confidence okay since we have maintained in the storage location 1000 that is why it extend okay or otherwise uh, in the first time you do goods receipt right at that time the mardi will get a uh, mardi uh, entries will be populated okay because in the back end we will have a config called create storage location automatically create storage location data automatically if that config is flagged automatically these data will get populated the moment you do the first good service otherwise you have to manually create marty data like mm -hmm. this so best method is like we maintain the data in the reference article so this you will not have this issue at all automatically the moment you do a listing they will be populated Okay. Okay. So now, generic article. I shown you how to create, how to list backend uh, tables. I have shown you what all uh, relations it has uh, specific to. Okay. All the tables, stock data we have seen, site data we have seen, uh, cost data we have seen, everything. Okay. Now, let's create one more article, and I leave the rest for you. Okay. Uh, for uh, generic articles. So trousers we have created. Similarly, we will create one for sarees. Okay. For mm -hmm. makes sense. Sarees, I don't know how to create generic article for that. There is no size, right? Ah, uh, only color. Yeah, makes sense. Maybe you can put instead of color and size, you can make a color and brand. That's where your uh, consulting skills will come now. Okay, sizes I will select everything. Now, what is the issue? I we have not added this also. Uh, now we got this. Now we have... You have to guide me. Where should I go? Uh, okay, retailing. Uh, where was it? Not master data. Oh, master data only. Okay, material group characteristics. Uh, new characteristic value storage, and the second one. Good. What is the color? C O L O L O R I think. Okay. So now what I need to do? You have to tell me. I will not tell you. You have to guide me. What mm, so below trousers we need to add our. Uh, what is it? Kurtis, no kurtis. We have to add in the material group. 
how do i do that uh, create a new line no you have to guide me which button i need to click and everything oh then we need to go to change mode first um, correct uh, then now uh, there is a lag in the video just a second yeah okay uh, there is a green small button to add a line no? uh, on top of that where we, where material group is written about that the, yeah the right one uh, yep okay i'll and in we add kurtis press enter then now what save uh, yeah it took everything all the colors no that is only we are allowing that merchandise category hmm. for that uh, color characteristic that's all we can do you are not right ready. because the grouping is already done right so here it is hmm. the grouping is already done if you look at it this is for allowing the merchandise category grouping is already done here spring autumn summer winter and so everything is here okay mm, so and right okay so now i have to come back again from the beginning mm -hmm. slash n mm 41 kurtis now select basic data now what i should do press enter yeah, now yeah now uh select that kunal if you okay. want some specific i will select everything uh yeah now we select the sizes select select any of one of the groupings so let's select the summer mm -hmm. center now what i should do now go back yes now select uh, one of the grids right yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, now what again back. Great. Now what I should do? So I have given this there. Now what I should do? I have to give the barcode. Yes. Right? I have to click on this and click on variant A. Mm -hmm. Press enter. The A is assigned. Now again come back. Pricing profile is there. Okay. Okay. Next, anything is required? Nothing. So everything is flown from the reference itself. Mm -hmm. I just show you select. So the life is very easy, see, because of the reference articles. Yep. So I give this one, save it. Now what I need to do? I'll lift it. Slash n wsc four twenty nine execute done. Slash n sc sixteen n Okay. Now go to. I have to select here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now what else you want to see, Marcy? Yeah. done okay yeah okay wlk okay. well done mm, yep well done 
scratch. So now we have created two generic articles. Okay. What is that? Okay, now these are the generic articles, correct? So let's give a color to it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, now I will show you to create has uh, structured articles. So we have three types of structured articles, correct? So I add matrix. Display prepack and one more sales set. No, correct. I will just give here first is prepack, then sales set, then what else? The uh, main display perfect. perfect. Okay, first we will create prepack. So, for prepack, what is the condition? Okay, I will. Simple. We are not going to create a separate article or anything, right? What is prepack? Just for the logistical reason, we are grouping all the generic article into one article so that it is easy for us to order, correct? Mm -hmm. So the prerequisite is for prepack, they should be belong to the same merchandise category. That is the only prerequisite, correct? Okay. Sales set, you can group any two different articles belonging to any merchandise categories, no restrictions. You can group mm -hmm. single article and one variant article or two different variants from two different merchandise categories. Any combinations you can do this for sales. Set. Whereas for prepack, you should you will be able to group only the variants of a generic article belonging to a same merchandise category. Correct? That's the difference. Right. Okay, now I'll show you in the system itself. Yes. Go to slam 41. Okay, what merchandise category will select? Trousers we will select. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I will select prepack. Okay. Press enter. This is because we are not going to creating generic article. So we are just creating the prepack article. So it is Levi's prepack. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I have to click on components and say what are the articles that I will be having in ordering in the prepack. So generic article, what is the article that I need to select? Trousers 27, right? Oh, sorry. Okay, now I need to select the generic article, press enter, all the variants will be displayed of this. Okay, now okay. whatever variants you need to keep, keep it, rest everything you can delete. Like this, you select this line item, delete, Yes. So it will be only one and four you will have. Okay, and in this free pack always it will be one and one piece each. This variant one piece, this variant one piece. Okay, that's all. That's how you create the free pack. Okay. Come back. Now rest everything is same. Go to logistic DC, logistic store save it simple that's it one zero zero three zero okay that's it now i'll create a sales set okay mm -hmm. what i'll do for sales set I will create under merchandise category. What merchandise category I will create? So one sales set we will create like fruit and uh, vegetable combination. Okay. Okay. See, it doesn't give the generic article back to the screen. Hmm. So I go and select one of the fruit article and one of the vegetable article.
okay and what numbers you have to select you have to just enter and press enter that's it so it gives you the combination of selecting in any combinations say for instance you want to add one of the variant article that is also possible see you cannot add generic article but you have to add only variant article okay, okay. so you can give any combinations clear mm -hmm. right but doesn't make sense so i will delete this okay <laughs> yeah come back for this it is a separate article so you need to have a barcode correct so you actually you should have done that Uh, you have mentioned one in the last row. Okay. No problem. Just to see. Store. Okay. Done. Yeah. Now select this and save it. That's all. Here is the save set. Okay. Now let's go to display. Okay. Or display same thing so fruit itself will select okay okay same way you will be able to give any things okay Say for instance one zero zero five okay any combinations you can give but doesn't make sense so i'll just remove it okay I will display in 10 pieces. This approach will be displayed as a box. That's what we need. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this display will have 10 pieces of this apple fruit. Okay. So what logistic DC, logistic store. Thirty-three, right? Mm. Now save it. Now I list it slash and WSN three. Okay, I'm going to do it in the mask mode. Okay, mm -hmm. apart my pronouns. So from article thirty to thirty three, we are going to list. Correct. What is right. It? Yeah. So we will list uh, listing new date, new listing, issue log, deactivate, okay, list log plus, I'm going to fine, execute, done, listing is done, 30, 32, 33, everything is done, okay? Mm -hmm. Come back, come back, now, AC 16, WLK1, now click on control, 32, 33, correct? Yep. Execute all are listed as their own individual articles. So now, if you look at this, okay, you will be listed as the structure header set to display pre pack. Clear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 30 is a single one. What was 30? Pre pack. Uh, okay. Uh, can you go back to that table? So why in 30 that LC column is blank? Because you have two different components belonging to two different articles, but this is 
this is not uh, what I would say. This article is individually listed, so it's just a technical detail, so it's not required. So I'll show you in the Mara, so it gives you more. Okay. Mara, so no, the thing is like Mara, Marsi, Mardi, everywhere, the items will be traced with this, their own article number only. Wait one minute. Maybe this could help you. He didn't uh, give the C A N U P C. Maybe that's just a problem. Just individually, absolutely from just uh, component of a structured article. Okay. I really should have come as H. I'm not sure why it didn't come. It didn't come. Maybe you create another a prepack article, uh, give the uh, barcode and then list it and see what happens. Okay. 3033. So let's take. Uh, Fruits article one minute. Okay, if you look at it, this article is also listed as a component. Hmm. That's why it is appearing. Okay. And this article is also listed individually. Hmm. That's what it makes. Okay. Right. That's how okay. it is. So if you look at it, this article has the same structured article, right? Structured article meaning it's the same single article, but whereas mm. this is listed as a component, its structured article is 32 and this is 33. You are with me yeah. now? Yes. That is the difference. So technically, you can find the details here. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Mar C Mar D everything is same. So you can find it with the individual article number itself. Only for the generic article, you will have the difference. In Mar C you will not have C it on the for the real size, you will not see the entry. Whereas for everything else, you will see the same thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So hope uh, this is clear with you now. Mm -hmm. So now the article creation section also we have completed. We have seen all types of article creations, single, generic, structured, merchandise category, reference articles. So with this, now we are winding up our master data creation sections. Now from now on, we will go into the business scenarios. Okay. Okay. So um, this was the major part or major part is yet to come? No, this is the major part. So see, business scenario is something that you can learn everywhere. You have, uh, mm -hmm. you can just, uh, because purchase order, goods, uh, receipt and all, it's very simple. I mean, that is uh, existing, but with respect to retail, if you take master data is the major chunk. 40% is unique in its own terms. So if you are more confident about this, you can crack any interview, you can crack anything with specific to this, because that is the base, right? Everything revolves around this master data. Okay, now it is just using this master data. Yeah. You use this master data to create business scenarios. So it is like more there. Then hereafter it comes of more like a 
a smarter way of doing it. How you do it? So SAP gives you a standard template, but mm -hmm. it's up to our consultants' uh, unique uh, consulting skills to understand and adapt the business scenarios to fit into this basic templates. If basic templates are not fitting, you have to identify the best way and best for, uh, optimal way of doing that. Maybe you bring some custom codes, doing it differently. Okay. It is our consulting skills come into picture. Okay. Okay. I will stop here. I'll mm -hmm. ensure. I'll make. I'll. I want you to practice this and get hands on. So before we proceed into the uh, scenarios, I want you to have a good uh, grip on this, so that we can proceed ahead after that. So I'll give you just what we will see further. We will start with creating purchase orders, receiving the stock to DC. Then we will move the stock from DC to store. So that will be one procure to pay cycle, the entire end to end cycle. That will be the next class we will be seeing. Okay. 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 Then I'll stop here. Maybe we can see uh, see tomorrow or I mean next class we can see. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay, maybe I have a function at my home tomorrow. I mm. might not be able to take class tomorrow. If that is okay with you. Yeah, that is fine. Yeah, I have a function at my home planned uh, 10 to 10 30. Maybe my I might have I am expecting gifts actually. So okay. they will be I'm not sure how when they will leave. So it's practically not possible for me to commit at this point in time. So that's why I'm mm -hmm. I'm giving That's you fine. if you see a window, you know, just drop a mail. Otherwise, I we can meet next week. Not a problem. Yeah. Sure. Thank you so much. Thanks for the understanding. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye.